team in Coconut Creek, the main training facility with Biggie Boy, Jarzinho Rosenstruck. And this gym has been very hospitable to us. We've had coaches coming up and helping us anytime that we need it. They're scheduling their schedules around our schedule in preparation for the biggest fight of Biggie's career against Alistair Overeem. Uh, we came up to AT&T, American Top Team, because Biggie was running out of his uh, uh, partners, partners. And we have one goal, you know, to be the champion. And no matter what, you know, where we need people to help him to get, grow up. So think about yourself, like, if you're fighting yourself, yeah. you put yourself against the wall, <laughs> that'd be the only time you can win if you're less lesser skill. It's the only time you can actually get lifted against the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like free stuff. I don't want to fight this open. I'm the open. When we train Biggie Boy, well, we try to. He's a fast learner. I've never seen anybody learn as fast as him. I show him a move, he's mastered it within like a few hours. You know, he's, he's a special specimen, special warrior. He gave knock this boy out. Just to let you know, Big is ready. He'll be. He is 100% for Saturday. Let's see it. He's going to be a war. I'm. The, I'm in the fighting business almost more than 30 years. Training fighters, I think, for sure, 20 years or more. When I first met him, also, he makes you believe in him because he's so humble. Like, I got it. He's just like my son from a. He's my son. I can say that. I feel it. Mike recognized me as a fighter from the childhood. I was 17 years old. So when I met Mike, I didn't know anything about fighting. So everything I know about fighting, he teach me. And beside that, he coached me also in life, things what we do. I think Mike is more than a coach. Yeah, he's more as a father to me and as a best friend. Now I'm fighting 40 years and I'm still with Mike. So I know Mike from the beginning of my career. And yeah, we're still together. I don't think I want anybody than Mike, or to replace Mike, uh, don't exist. I won over uh, 70, 75 fights, and I lose a couple of fights, I think six of them, or eight of them, and those fights make me better in what I do, even better MMA fight. Why? I know why I lose, I know why I lose those fights, and that's why I was training harder, to never get this experience again. So for me, it was important to work hard, work harder, even harder, to win the other fights. Because I train so hard, I train three times a day. I think at night, uh, my body still have the, the nervous system on. Since I'm using the California CBD oil, before I go to bed, yeah, it helps me sleep better and wake up in the morning, feel rest up, recover, and I can go hard in the morning again. The way that I met Biggie, you know, being here in South Florida, we all talk, we all talk about the next fighters coming up. And everyone was talking about this dude, Jarzinho, from this place called Suriname. And he's, he's this kickboxer knocking everybody out. So I said, I gotta meet this guy. And at this time, nobody's heard about him. Uh, you know, he was just up and coming, like not ranked, no one really knew. And so I said, I wanna take a meeting with him. Uh, and we met and he's, he's like, he's new to America so he didn't really know, but he was trying to adapt to the culture. So I gave him some CBD products and ever since then he's been on the rise. He, he knocked out uh, Arlovsky. I went to see him in Madison Square Garden, he knocked out Arlovsky. 
And now he's got this big fight coming up against Overeem. And if he knocks him out, that's like the number six guy in the heavyweights. And he'll be on the rise. He'll be a title, title contender in 2020. So I'm really excited for him. He's a good dude that's you know, genuine and been working for a long time to get to this point, which I respect. So good luck, Biggie. We, we're with you. We know you're going to knock people out. Amazing year 2019, it's gonna be even more nicer and yeah, I wanna see Francis Ngannou. He's a huge guy, big scary guy, and I think I'm the guy who you can put against him in the octagon, create a huge bomb in the octagon. And I think the UFC fans wanna see that. They wanna see nice fight, quick knockout, heavy punches. Yeah, so for me, that's exciting. And I look for a hot fight and Francis Ngannou, I hope you accept this. 2020, 2020, I'm gonna go even harder. Get back in the gym, make sure I'm ready, do what I have to do, win fights, and yeah. After this fight, I think it's gonna be even bigger. 2020 is gonna be even bigger than this. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're looking for more behind the scenes footage of your favorite UFC fighters, punch the subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram at CanifornianCBD. And if you're looking to improve performance, improve sleep, and improve recovery, click the link down below and get the premium CBD products on the market. California CBD.